Hi, I'm Clarice Lin, and today I want to talk about how do you know if your website is generating leads and is it whether is it helping your business. So one of the things to measure how good your website is doing is actually the bounce rate. So the bounce rate means how many people actually use your website almost immediately when they arrive on your website. And metrics to measure ranges from 0% to 100%. So 100% is um, the worst score you can get, which means people leave your website almost immediately which it wasn't relevant, it wasn't useful, it wasn't for them. So one of the questions that I always get is that what's a good bounce rate? So the thing about average bounce rate that many people use to measure their website is actually not a good metric. Average bounce rate, when you say average bounce rate, it implies that all pages of your website is of equal value, but that's not true. Different pages on your website has different users, so the home page could be a review or summary or top overview of your business for people to understand and your products page is for people to understand products and when a contact page is meant for people to contact you different pages have its users and there are different uh, steps of the journey that customers would take before they decide to contact you so back to this average bounce rate is i would say you want to think not about average in general you want to think about the different parts of your website so for example a good bounce rate for a home page would range between 20 to 30 percent that is mostly because people already know about your website, they know about the name of your business, they know the name of your products, so they arrive on your homepage. So typically, you shouldn't really have a high bounce rate. You should get about 20 to 30%. If you get a really high bounce rate, like 70%, 80%, 90%, you're doing something really wrong. So you need to go back and diagnose what's wrong with it. So typically, if you actually have like blog posts that's ranking on Google traffic, bounce rate could be uh, about 70 to 80 percent sometimes up to 90 percent but if you get something like 60 percent or 70 percent it's already considered very good and with that you also want to look at after they arrive on your blog page are you guiding them to do some action on your website so if you look at average of all the pages on different pages of your website some people might say 50 to 60 percent is a good average but i would definitely recommend you to go down to looking at uh your homepage bounce rate and the bounce rate of your content if you have any and also looking at um, the bounce rate of different products and services in your website so what's the average bounce rate for your website or more precisely what's the bounce rate of your homepage and what's the bounce rate of your blog posts or videos on your website let me know in the comments below if you're interested to learn more about how to make the most of your website i have upcoming webinar you can sign up down below to the waiting list there will be a Google Analytics for small business, for beginners and something intermediate where you can make the most out of your website, make your website work for you, generate high quality leads and increase your revenue in 2020. See you in the next video.